My name is Mirko Kovac and I am director of the Aerial Robotics Laboratory at Imperial College London and also I'm head of the Materials and Technology Centre of Robotics at the EMPA Material Science Institute in Switzerland. What we see is that there is a big need for automated technologies that can provide data on the environmental processes. These insights can then provide valuable information of how to protect those environments. The Medusa system is one of the projects that we focus on, looking at environmental sampling in aquatic environments. And this is uh, just one of a family of these types of robots. So we have five different types of robots that can transition between air and underwater. The Medusa is a robot that has an aerial part, so it's a flying robot. It has also an underwater part that is tethered to the flying vehicle. So like this it allows the drone to land on the water surface by accessing areas that are difficult to access from the water. And then after landing the underwater vehicle can deploy and can take information from the environment, provide data such as um, temperature, pH levels, visual data and most notably also microorganism data. So what kind of microorganisms are available in the water? Getting insights onto those parameters, such as acidity or um, microorganisms, is extremely important for two aspects. One is to study the anthropogenic effects of how human activity influences the ecosystem. The second aspect is by studying how microorganisms influence the different uh, processes, such as algae blooms. Our approach uh, for testing this type of robots is to start in the laboratory and then test it in outdoor environments step by step going towards more complexity and more integration in operational workflows. So this test in Lake Zurich was an outdoor test in a relatively simple outdoor environment. The goal was to understand how the drones could be used to get insights into measuring real-world data and microorganisms in the real lake. So it is already happening, the technology is available and we are now looking at the pilot studies together with industry, together with the, uh, collaborators in environmental sciences to study how the spatial temporal resolution provided by these drones can provide us with better insights on environmental processes. What we need to do as a community to progress these type of technologies is to partner and create knowledge platforms from industry and academia all work together and team up and prove how new methods can provide value not just in a financial sense but value in, a, in an insight-based um, approach to environmental sciences. How can artificial intelligence be used to improve the data set, to get better insights? And for that I think we are just in the starting position now but we are in a very good position through the exploitation of various technologies in drone based flight, in underwater robotics, multimodal robotics and all these platforms that we created internationally as well to work together and get those insights uh, to protect the environment.